Hey guys, so there are holiday cards all over the place. Instagram pictures of families in matching pajamas, and just everything else that reminds you of what you should be doing or haven't experienced yet. And so, you're sitting there, asking yourself why the supposedly best time of the year is your most dreaded. First of all, I need you to know that you are not alone. The feeling of loneliness, showing up during the holidays, is not as rare as you may think. I decided to share with you some tips for dealing with loneliness, especially during the holiday season, because of everything I've seen being put out these past few days. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with putting on a cheerful outlook, despite how you feel from the inside. It's a great approach to life, it's awesome, but what if there are things you can do to make the holidays actually feel a little less lonely. Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the journey to self-development. If you're new here, we trust you're going to love this video. And if you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. Without further ado, here we go. I'll be sharing five practical activities you can try out this holiday season if you feel like nothing else has worked out for you in the past. So, stick around for that. I always like to begin every talk about loneliness by stating first of all that it is okay to feel lonely and acknowledge that feeling. Tell yourself it is okay to embrace feeling lonely and that denying the feeling doesn't make it go away. I found out that acknowledging your loneliness is often the first step towards gaining insight into what exactly it is you need the most. But it can be tough, right? I mean. Who embraces loneliness, like that, without sinking into worries and negative thoughts? All of these would come, but you don't even have to chase them away. Instead, pick up your journal, converse with your emotions, and open yourself up to that cathartic release that comes with writing down your emotions. You'll find your brain feeling decluttered after this exercise, and only then will you be in the right frame of mind to think up awesome ways to take care of your needs. Still on facing the feeling of loneliness, something else I've found that helps is planning ahead of time for it. This one sounds a little funny and pessimistic, but think about it this way. You are opening your arms to all the cheers of the season and saying, come to me, but also realizing that the opposite may end up happening and that's fine it generally becomes easier to manage the difficult feeling throughout the holidays if you have made plans on how to handle it months or weeks before. And when I say plans here, I'm not talking about anything elaborate or groundbreaking that you have to lose sleep over. I mean, regular plans like the few people you can talk to when the feeling kicks in, places you can go to to share a connection with others, or activities you trust to lift your mood. You don't have to have all the answers now, and that is why it is a plan. Stick a note on your fridge, and each time you remember something new, add it to the list. Next is creating rituals to honor the things or people you miss. There's been so much loss, particularly this year. It's difficult to enjoy the holidays without drowning yourself in the memories of the time spent with someone you treasure dearly. Holiday seasons just never feel the same without the people you've always celebrated with, and that realization is enough to ruin the entire experience for you, even before it begins. I learned this from a friend, so what she does is to collect recipes from people who mean a lot to her, and get them to teach her to make the meal. So whenever she misses these loved ones, she simply cooks their meals. It doesn't matter to her whether or not the meals tasted the same, since it was more about reliving the experience they shared. You could do something like that. Think about a few rituals you enjoyed with this person who is now gone and connect with them by doing those things by yourself over the weekend. And if you feel like you cannot cope with those memories, that is okay. Try making new traditions instead. I mean, families and couples all have their special holiday traditions. And Christmas, for instance, is a tradition in itself. So what stops you from having yours? Do away with the expectations and take charge of your happiness 
by trying to find something you can reserve for the holidays. Now, this isn't going to be easy. Making a new tradition when you don't feel like it can be tough, but trust me, it's worth trying. And whether you decide to create new traditions or revive old ones, there is something else you must always keep in mind, and that is self-compassion. Listen to this. There is no better time to treat yourself with pure kindness than when you feel down. The most challenging part of this is that self-compassion does not come naturally to a lot of us. Yet, we are always ready and willing to be kind to our friends and strangers, but it reaches our turn and somehow we dismiss our own humanity. Here are three things I want you to combine when to practice more self-compassion. The first is mindfulness, where you acknowledge your worry by saying something like, I notice I worry excessively during the holidays. Next comes kindness, and here you are saying something like, this is a hard time, and so I deserve to be kinder to myself. Wrap up the positive self-talk by acknowledging your humanity and telling yourself that you are not alone in your experience. Another helpful practice to cope with loneliness any time at all is practicing gratitude. If you find that you cannot prevent yourself from thinking unpleasant thoughts or feeling terrible about your current state, try gratitude instead. This time around, you are not chasing away negative thoughts and feelings. You are simply replacing them with positive ones. How about making an intentional effort to think about all the support and love you've received all year? Our brains are not exactly wired to focus on both lack and plenty at the same time. So you'll need to choose gratitude when the time comes. Before I end the session today, I'll go ahead and share some practical activities to add to your list this holiday. You can do most of these by yourself, but I'll encourage you to let others in if you have the opportunity. The first is a personal favorite. Writing postcards and filling them with all of the great stuff that happened throughout the year. Even if you keep a personal gratitude journal, doing this would feel a bit different as the holiday season just has its way of setting the right background for thank you cards. Don't be afraid to reach out to others because I tell you, most people need more love than they ever get. Next, read old letters if you have some. Look and laugh at old pictures. Allow yourself to have a good trip down memory lane, and you just might begin to feel the spirit of the season. Something else I have practiced over the years is to see the holidays as the perfect time to express extra gratitude to people in the world who feel less seen. It's time to let that grocery store attendant know you appreciate them. Be extra nice to the customer rep, because you know what is true. Gratitude refills itself. Also, you can turn on some music and dance to your heart's content. Or maybe paint, make, write, or design something. It doesn't have to be perfect. Ridiculous probably works best, so you can have a good laugh. Finally, turn on the TV and see some holiday classics. You are allowing yourself to feel by doing this, and also reminding yourself of all the great memories. Remember, Loneliness is just a feeling, not anything factual. Your brain might be telling you that no one cares, which is just another lie to make you feel scared. I hope you enjoyed this video and get to enjoy your holidays even better. Sound off in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And if you find this information helpful, check out this other video from our channel too. Until next time, we wish you a happy, and healthy day.